What's going on, Gypsy Man? And uh, it's been a while since I put a video on here, but I wanted to put a short video on here about the new project that we got going on. So what we got here is a Gen 3. Uh, it's a Glock 30, 45 uh, caliber. And a friend of mine, I got a video on this, but he gave me um, another one of his gun, a 380 baby Glock. And uh, we restored that gun. So he gave me another gun. So he likes these baby Glocks, so he decided to give me this one. But what's crazy is this one was in worse shape than the videos that I had previously of my restoration of that baby Glock. So um, what we found here is what was incredible about this one was the slide didn't even want to come off of this gun. It was so dry, bone dry. It didn't have all the dust bunnies in it that it had in the other gun on the other video that I had. But this one was so dry that the slide didn't want to come off. But crazy enough, test fired it to see if it still worked. And it's still shot. And this is just a testimony. And I, psh, you know what? They need to pay me for this. But Glock, that's why I'm a Glocker, man. Because, you know, we know this is going to work. We know it's going to work. It's a Glock. No oil. Try that with your 2011. And I have 2011, so I'm not a hater. So, the crazy thing is, you know, I'm taking it apart for inspection. Taking everything off of it. There's a pile of parts that's not going to pass. This didn't pass my inspection. Because this inspection, what we got, if we can get some, uh, if we can get it in focus, we got a cracked guide rod, okay? So we're not going to be using that. That spring's going to pop off while we're shooting. We're going to get a brand new uh, trigger housing. This had been grinded down because he is a mechanic. And it's been filed down, so it's completely flat against the frame. We're going to get rid of that. We're getting rid of the sights, of course. He still has the original sights. We want to polish everything up. Uh, we're going to get a new mag extension because it's coming off. So we won't be using this one. It's just a little too loose for me. I like my tolerances tighter than that. Uh, everything else looks good on it. The frame looks good. We're just cleaning it up. That's going to look good. And we're going to be, which was alarming to me, we need to change out the firing, not the firing pin itself, but the smaller parts. If we can get this in focus, come on, we're gonna get it in focus because I want to show you that it's cracked. Look at that. We have, it's cracked. So we're gonna be changing the plastic parts in the firing pin. We're probably gonna change the spring and the cups while we're at it, polish it up. So just imagine if you needed your gun and you have this issue, you know what I mean? I know it's a Glock, it'll probably still fire because of the way that it goes into the slide, but we don't need this. We don't need these issues. And this is why it's so important to not only just fill strip and clean your Glocks, but you need to take them, break them all the way down and just see what's going on and do a quick inspection. I know everybody's not Glock armors. I'm not a certified Glock armorer but I'll give any one of them a go for the, for the money. I'm right with you. I just do it more, you know, for myself and a couple of close friends. So, self-proclaimed. So, look at that. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that that needs to be replaced. So, we're going to be doing that. Important, very important. First time I ever saw that, to be honest with you. So, quick inspection of all the parts. I just want to share that with everybody. The, the take home from this, break your gun, learn how to break your gun all the way down and look at all of those parts to see if you can have possibly a catastrophic failure when you need it. And that's not when you need it. All right, Gypsy Man, I'm out. Peace.